hello you guys welcome back so we are now on week 13 um this week it is going to be a little bit different because i'm just filming early this time around you guys because i did have a 13 week ultrasound today and so i just kind of wanted to tell you guys about what i'm kind of going through so far this week and just kind of like what i have up to date and i wanted to be so fresh on today's ultrasound and just show you guys how i felt and my emotions and just everything um apart from that you guys congratulations if you guys are on week 13 if you guys have made it this far we are fine as far as what i know i know a bunch of people calculate it kind of different but i'm following an app and it tells me i'm in my second trimester so guess what i'm in my second trimester on week 13 so if you guys have made it to second trimester congratulations i feel so blessed to be in my second trimester this is going to be my first pregnancy of making it to my second trimester so i'm super excited i just feel like i'm feeling really like happy today you guys i even went to bed last night like so excited to have my ultrasound today i even had amazing dreams all night long but today you guys i'm going to talk about my gender speculations if that's the correct word for it i'm going to talk about my 13 week how i've been feeling and then i'm going to talk about the 13 week ultrasound and how things are going so i've been using both my pregnancy plus app you guys and i really like it a lot let me kind of zoom in a little bit just so you guys can kind of see how this app works so here is the app so for one you have the picture of your baby and how your baby is looking you can even measure it up to its exact size of what this thing says it to be and it just kind of has your trimester your due date and how many days you have left and just a bunch of cute stuff in here so action so scud like things that i should be doing this week um entering my next appointment personal diary personal diary like different things and then it has cute different little articles in here um so yes so as far as this week my baby has almost doubled in weight since last week with fully formed arms and legs so that is super 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 cool so i'm gonna go on ahead and come into my other app though and then we'll come back into this app so the week that i the one that i really like to use for um my whole thing is what to expect that one is pretty much my really big favorite and then like for day-to-day -day facts i like to use the baby the ovia pregnancy app but and then i like to use baby center for the forums and stuff but so again we are now in our second trimester and i'm so 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 excited so let's go on ahead and dive into my symptoms as far as my symptoms are going you guys they've been pretty okay i have been really nauseous this week pretty nauseous um i have not felt anything other than really just nausea and vomiting i vomited a couple of times already and we're just at three week, 13 weeks and two days but i have vomited a couple times already um, and apart from that, just really big nausea. Another new symptom that came in. So like my breast tenderness has gone away. Breasts still feel like they're growing and growing and growing. Like almost every single day I feel like. Um, breast tenderness has gone away. But I will say that I have my back. I was beginning to get back pain in week 12 on the right side. But now the back pain has like completely sprung across the entire my entire lower back and if i lay on my back now at all for like more than a minute i'm just like in so so much pain on my lower back and then if i um if i um if i um what am, what am i gonna <laughs> just kidding but if i um just like i don't know i just notice if i sit down i'm just in pain like right now i have to put a pillow because if i don't put a pillow underneath my bottom like i'm just in so much pain on my lower back so it's just i've been struggling with a lot of lower back pain this past week so it's just been really really tough because like today i went to my ultrasound it took me literally like today i went to my ultrasound it took me literally like a little while to get up from the bed not a little while but it was like a very slow mo getting up because if i'm having pain you guys i like to just kind of like push through it i don't like to like baby through it i just gotta push through it in order to feel um a lot better um so yes and then apart from that um that's pretty much it just back pain so far and nausea and just kind of feeling out of it i really feel like this week though my pregnancy brain has fully kicked in at full effect 
another thing is is that i've been like so curious and so anxious about my gender i have been going crazy over like nursery videos um like i and it's weird because like i'm not watching like too many like pregnancy updates which is crazy i do watch a couple but i'm not really watching like too many pregnancy updates i'm more like watching videos like on the ultrasounds and how they're supposed to look and what everything means in the ultrasounds um i've been like obsessing over gender lately how to predict your gender from the midwife stuff and then like what are symptoms that you could be having that could like tell you what your gender is um i have been like just obsessing over just again like nursery stuff and like preparing for the baby so i don't know if nesting is hitting me like in the second trimester instead of in the third trimester but i've literally been feeling it you guys um and then apart from that i've been feeling a lot better from being sick jesus please help me to not get sick again this winter i'm praying on it um it was a really rough time to be sick because i i it just lasts too long while you're pregnant too too long and then apart from that that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and jump into today's ultrasound so today's ultrasound was really really fun i went in and i laid down and um the lady checked my belly and i actually have a couple of pictures here is the first picture of the baby and i'll see if i can kind of zoom into it so it's just so cute i don't know if this is profile it kind of looks like if this is profile image of the baby this right here is profile so this just looks so 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 cute a little profile pic of the baby we have a full-blown baby pic which is so so cute there is my final picture this is supposed to be the face but like i cannot detect anything in this picture so if you guys can help me out please help me out last ultrasound i did not really cry or anything to see the baby i was more just in shock to see the baby this ultrasound, I bawled my little eyes out. So the baby was asleep, um, like in a really deep sleep. Um, I guess the girl said that the babies have like sleeping, sleeping cycles and we caught the baby in a sleeping cycle. And so she was even, I kid you not, I was in there for like more than 30 minutes in my ultrasound. She was just trying to wake up the baby. This was my first time of getting an ultrasound like over my stomach. And oh my gosh, I did not know that they pushed <laughs> that hard. It literally hurt not it didn't like hurt so bad but it was just like kind of strong little pain that she was using to push like actually now you guys i want to say that i feel like if my uterus is sore and my stomach is sore from the ultrasound like it's really sore right now and of course i think that that's normal but it's just like really sore she was even using like both hands and like moving that ultrasound thing and i was just like Girl, I even had to pray over my baby because I thought, girl, if you're trying to do something to my baby, I'm pleading the blood of Jesus right now for this baby and Jesus is going to have to help me with this baby. It was really freaky, but um, I hear that they have to do that because of the fact that, you know, they're just so tiny and, you know, you got to get through them. But all I know is that the baby was asleep and the baby was just laying on its little side, kind of like this. And um, it so the baby's back was faced towards like my front towards like my stomach and then the baby's face and arms and legs were all faced towards my spine so it was just so cute to see the baby just like laying down like this face towards the back way just relaxing and minding its own little business and um then she was like cough and cough it'll help it will help you wake up the baby so the baby finally woke up for like a 10 minute i mean a 10 minute a 10 second time span and it was so cute and that's whenever i started to cry because you just see the baby like wiggling and moving around and moving his or her little legs and just wiggling her little hands and moving her hands kind of like this and just like wiggling her little feet and you could literally see the little toes and the little fingers and it was just like really 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 special and beautiful to me you guys that i was just like crying because i was like for a while you guys like before this i did not like it's weird because in the first trimester it's very hard and still right now it's really hard because i feel like you just experience your pregnancy symptoms but like you don't really feel a baby in there yet so sometimes you wonder and somebody's like is there really a baby in there like what's going on in there and that was how i was feeling and it was just crazy to see like a baby in there so the baby so far is measuring really good very normal 
from the head from crown to rub baby's measuring really good from the neck that's what my obi said baby's just looking really really good i'm looking really really good um so far you guys i have lost eight pounds in my first trimester which is honestly really 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 good i had gained like six pounds in like within two weeks from week four to week six and then i had lost a little bit of weight after that like two pounds i want to say and then um i've lost even more weight so now i'm down to I'm down eight pounds from whenever I first went in for my confirmation. And I honestly don't even know how. I don't even know how. I've been trying to eat a little bit cleaner. Um, and apart from that, I have also been diving into cravings. So I, I just don't know how. It could be the nausea. It could be the vomiting. I just don't know how. I don't know how I've lost eight pounds. But I've lost them. And that was with wearing a jacket, that was with wearing my tennis shoes, that was with wearing like everything. And it was in the middle of the day and I had lost eight pounds. So I was like, okay. Um, but that was pretty much it. And then I just went in, she did my body exam. So she did my upper body exam and then the cervical exam. I think that, that was it. I did tell her about my back pain. She did say that unfortunately, the back pain is very normal because since my uterus is growing, it's just pressing, pressing and pulling on um, so many different things that have never been pressed or like pulled on. And so um, she said back pain is just really normal. So I'm just going to have to be very careful with how I position my body, how I lay down. Because you guys, my back pain has been like so strong, like so strong. Like if I could say on a level 1 to 10 in pain, I would say that it, it's been sometimes at a 7 and it can go up from like a 7 to an 8.5. That is how bad my back pain has been. So it's just been like, okay, but I'm really good with pain. I feel like if I'm really good with dealing with pain. Um, so I, I'm going to get through this. But you guys, nonetheless, I'm just feeling so blessed. My baby is healthy, good, doing great. And that is pretty much it for week 13 and what I'm going through. Um, I did want to show this to you guys in my last video, but I haven't shown it to you yet. Um, I have been journaling in a journal just kind of my thoughts about pregnancy and like what i've been going through so it's been really cool but um in my last pregnancy you guys i had actually bought in a pregnancy journal that pregnancy unfortunately <coughs> you guys already know and i'm not repeating it repeating it but it's just so that way for you guys who do go through this kind of stuff it can give you guys like hope in a way because i know that if i were back at where i was at back at stage one i would be feeling like this video would give me hope so i wanted to do that for you guys but i did buy a pregnancy journal and i even have like written down stuff from actually i'll be able to tell you guys the year right now so it was in 2017 so 2017 was whenever i was pregnant last so it has been um two years so 2017 and i love this book because it's just a little pregnancy journal i picked it up at the store called hastings before it had shut down so it has a cute little first trimester and then it just has like questions that you can answer checklists on like how you've been feeling and how you've been doing where am i at, at month number one and then it tells you how your baby's been growing and then but overall you guys i've just been feeling like really blessed and so that is pretty much it for my 13 week update i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys so 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 much let me know how you guys are doing a week 13 down below follow me on instagram you guys i'll link it right here because i love to do rants on my stories about how i'm feeling day to day so you guys can kind of just hear me out and go through the things with me especially if i buy stuff i'll post it on there if i do anything i'll just post it on there so just follow me there and yes i love you guys and god bless you guys bye